Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects and today I got you all with the sauce. This is the secret way to create this type of morse transition using Evisyn. It looks so hard and really can spice up your videos. And again, I like to thank my guy Spooky for leaking the sauce to creators like us to make a video on it. He was actually the guy who found out about the Evisyn stuff. So big shout out to him. I'll link his social down below so you can check it out. Really cool guy. Before getting into the video, you have to download EVSYN, I'll link that in the description too. It's completely free, so there's no reason of not copying it. So yeah, here are my two clips I'm gonna add the effect on. So the first thing we're gonna do is not will be in our After Effects. We'll go to our File Explorer, as you can see, and create a new folder here. I'll name it 2. You can name it whatever you want. And from now, you can name it exactly this. So the first folder we're gonna make will be a keyframe folder so we're gonna hit number one keyframe we're gonna name it keyframe like that keyframe folder and we're gonna make another folder name it number two video and we're gonna make our last folder and name it number three output so in our keyframe folder we'll have a keyframe like the last snapshot of this clip and we're gonna put it on here and in video there will be our second clip which is this as you can see and in output we will have our output that comes from evisynth if that makes sense my english is not good so i try to explain it in my way but i don't know if you understand it or not so anyways back in after effect i have this two clip as you can see i already told you and make sure your second clip has a bit of movement as you can see my my footage has a lot of movement in it i tried it with a, like a still image and it didn't work really good so make sure you have a bit of movement also i, I keep him the scale so we have a bit more movement in it so let's just go over to the first clip as you can see and go over to the last frame make sure you go over to exactly last frame which is this in my case as you can see this is my last frame and we're gonna split it and right click and print comping it and hit ok move all attributes and just open the pre-comp now you can play the pre-comp because it is just one frame but we gonna go over to composition go over to composition settings and where it says start time code which is right here as you can see you have to make sure all of these values are zero as you can see two of my values are one so i'm gonna change this to zero and also do this and hit zero and as you can see all my values are zero now it will make sense a bit later but this is a really important part don't skip this make sure you are in time code not in duration just check it twice and hit ok after that selecting my pre-comp not going out of it go to file go to export and add to media render queue and where it says output model we're going to change it to jpeg sequence jpeg sequence so the render will be on picture format not in video format we don't want that and where it says output two select that yeah more perfect two as you can see we made that two loop and in this three folders we're gonna go over to keyframe and save it in there and just hit render as you can see it rendered really quick because it was just one frame so let's just head over to our main comp and pre-comp this second layer too second clip i mean let's just pre-comp there go to the pre-comp again and go to composition same thing with this go over to composition settings and set the time start time code to zero as well all of these values are zero not the duration again and hit ok after go to file export add to render queue and set it as jpeg sequence as well where is that yeah jpeg sequence so in output 2 you can go to the video that we have and save it in there and after that if i go to my file explorer and show you guys you can see our picture is here our keyframe is here in the keyframe folder and also make sure these last values are zero that's why we made the start time code to zero so it works properly the other name doesn't matter it just have to be zero at the end like as you can see five zeros let's just go to video now 
and com2 it just made a new folder as you can see and here's our video exported in image format and also make sure again that it also start with zero as you can see zero 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 five zeros on the name so the first frame should start with zero on this two on the second clip too i hope that makes sense and not confusing this effect is pretty easy once you get the hang of it it's just kind of tricky at the start but let's just fire up our ev synth as you can see uh, we got our ev synth here i'll link this in the description completely free and this is the source ev synth that allows us to create those effects so where it says keyframes go over to our keyframe folder one keyframe folder open that and we have a folder made of our comp where we have our keyframe add as you can see so you can just back up and just drag this folder to your keyframe section now we're gonna go over the video and we have another folder as you can see laser laser dim com 2 where we have our video add so we're gonna drag this folder in here like that not the video clips only folder as you can see and where it says output we're gonna drag the output folder where it says output right here as you can see output we're gonna drag it on there we're gonna drag it on there like that after that we're all set it up just hit synth and it will start synthing your layer after your synthing is done go to the main comp again and if i open up my file explorer go to output you can see all of our synth is done and it looks pretty cool so to import this into our after effects go over to the project panel and right click go over to import multiple files import multiple files and click that and go over to the output layer and make sure you select the first image on the first frame and just hit import after that hit done and for some stupid reason after effect will import it on 30 frame per second we don't want that so selecting your main composition go over to composition go to composition settings and you can see frame rate in here just copy that and right click on those images go to interpolate footage go to main and paste it in there and hit ok then just drag it into your main comp now and after that you can see our synth is done then after you can see our synth is done and it looks pretty cool you can put it one frame forward i guess it looks a bit smoother also got the inspiration from my boy antonio he also made a video on that he was fast with it <laughs> spooky told me like a week ago and he also told it to antonio and antonio is so fast like he made a video in two days or something like that and i'm recording here after one week so i'm a bit late but no worries you can keyframe the opacity it looks cool but you can use like luma key or dissolve luma from sapphire i guess it looks a bit cool so we're gonna go over to here and hit the stop button in dissolve percentage and go a bit further and bring it up 200 and make sure to bring up the smoothness as well after that we are almost done you can add some effect to spice it up you can add like color balance as a last into it and keep him there as it goes right around here you can keep him there like that nah not right here maybe after it start dissolving so like that I think it looks a bit cool. On top of that, you can add a Fabler Glow. I'm going to use Optical Glow. So let's just go over to Highlight only and bring it up. Bring up the size. Bring down the amount for sure. And go to Alpha Channel and hit Extended Unmold. And we're going to also keep him that from 0 to bring it up. To like four or five or something like that and other effect too there's a bunch of effect in sapphire you can use those also you can also add like a chromatic aberration i guess from uni yeah yeah this looks really cool the aberration really really gives that feel put it in before all of my effect i think it looks cool that way and to spice it all up i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and open up my effects and preset and i'm gonna add a sick from my sick pack it is exactly lined up perfectly so perfect i'm go i added a distro sick one this sick pack is really cool i'll leave this in the description if you want to check it out i also have a bundle with my 3d tyler pack and my sick pack in that bundle you are really getting like two packs in the price of one so it's worth checking out anyways after adding the shake you can see the impact that it added i really like it so anyways my final effect looks something like this so yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like 
like this also follow spooky in instagram really great vfx artist while you're there you can also follow me <laughs> so yeah see you in next video peace